Hi friends, welcome to the part 41 of this playlist. We are looking at real certification questions. Please hit the subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. It will help you with cloud certification. Lot of questions, lot of contents. Let us jump into the questions. Which of the following are VPC resources? VPC means virtual private cloud. So if you look at C, these are S3 resources. They have access policies and bucket. These are simple policies, bucket policies that you can use. In S3 and then S3 is an object storage, you can store objects in the form of buckets. You create buckets, buckets are similar to folders and you can store your objects. What are objects? It can be files, audio files, video files, image files, anything. So we know option C is a S3 thing. It is not a VPC thing. This is wrong. We know option D groups and roles is an IAM thing. That is identity and access management. You create users, you assign them roles, you assign them to groups, so on. Now option A, ACL is an S3 thing. This is S3 thing. It is called S3 access control list. You can provide access to the buckets and folders. This is not a VPC thing. So we have only one app left that is subnets and internet gateways. These are VPC things. Using internet gateway, you can connect to the internet from AWS. So this would be my final answer. Let us move to the next question. Now which of these tools will help you manage billing? and allow control access to resources. See IAM, it will only help you to create users, groups, assign privileges and so on. It will not help you with billing. So A is wrong. Option D, budget. It will help you with planning and cost control. Just like your household, you create a budget that in a month, I will only spend this much money. That is what you can do in AWS. But that is a step before you get the bill. You want to understand the manage billing stuff and control of the resources. Budgets will not help you with that. Let us look at Cost Explorer. It will give you details about the cost over the time, like what was your usage over time. It will give you a lot of details so you can understand with res which resource group is utilizing more cost and etc. But it will not help you with control access to the resources. This is also you want. That's why Cost Explorer is wrong. We are left with AWS organization. It manages your environment at scale and the resources. It will help you manage and optimize cost. You see this, this portion, it will help you with that. It will also help you with user based permission management that is the access that is this portion that the question is asking. So we got answers to both these portions. Organizations would be my final answer. In this part I just have two questions. Please hit the subscribe button and the like button if you like my video. You can click the join button and become a, sub, uh, a member cloud kernel or cloud ninja member. See you in the next part.